Immutability is not just a buzzword, it's one of the most important qualities for a blockchain, as it ensures users can trust that the data on it cannot be tampered with. And this is exactly why the DAO hack on Ethereum remains a controversial topic to this day. Not simply because of an exploit, but how it was resolved, and the market left on the Ethereum community. Let's rewind back to 2016, when Ethereum was still the new kid on the block. During this time, there was a groundbreaking idea called DAOs, Decentralized Autonomous Organizations. DAOs were meant to be organizations where decisions are collectively made by the community and everything is governed by coded smart contracts. The first DAO, creatively named The DAO, was a decentralized investment fund on Ethereum and a giant experiment that explored DAOs as a concept. The idea was simple. People would deposit ETH, and the DAO would invest the funds on the behalf of its members. A fully decentralized investment fund where investment decisions are in the hands of the collective community. The DAO launched in April 2016 and surpassed all expectations after raising a massive $150 million worth of ETH from more than 11,000 members in just 28 days. But then, disaster struck. Less than three months after launching, the DAO was hacked. The hacker found a vulnerability in the DAO's smart contract that allowed him to perform something called a re-entrancy attack. Very simply put, by utilizing a vulnerability in the DAO's smart contract, the attacker was able to continuously withdraw from the DAO contract before it could update its balance, thus siphoning funds from it. A group of white hat hackers called the Robinhood Group emerged and used the same exploit to recover part of the stolen funds. However, the majority of the siphoned funds remained unrecoverable. In the course of a few weeks, the hacker gradually drained $60 million worth of ETH, while a massive blow of confidence was dealt to not just the DAO, but Ethereum as a whole. The Ethereum community was now faced with a dilemma. On the one side, people argued that Ethereum's core value was immutability. What's on the blockchain should stay on the blockchain. To reverse any action, even to fix a hack, would compromise the very essence of immutability and set a dangerous precedent that could weaken the trustless nature of the blockchain. But on the other hand, there are people who felt Ethereum had a moral obligation to protect its users. People invested real money, and they were watching their savings disappear. Those in this camp believed Ethereum had to act fast to prevent further theft and restore confidence in the blockchain. The solution? A hard fork. Ethereum's developers proposed the creation of a new blockchain that would undo the DAO hack by moving the stolen funds to a new contract where it could be refunded to the original investors. Although over 85% of the community voted in favor of the hard fork, this was controversial as it meant rewriting history, effectively erasing transactions made by the hacker from the blockchain. And since then, Ethereum is split in two, the new chain that adopted the fork and Ethereum Classic, which kept the original unaltered history. Despite the dramatic collapse of the DAO, it planted the seeds for a new era of DAOs. Many DeFi household names like Uniswap and Aave operate as DAOs, where its community members vote on important project decisions. And so there you have it, the very first DAO and its rather colorful history on Ethereum. Speaking of decentralized organizations, have you wondered who calls the shots on Ethereum? Check out this video.